Okay, guys, uh, today we're going to be looking at different types of transformations, um, isometries, because it's going to maintain size and shape. Um, so the first one we're going to focus on is reflections over specific lines. And what I want to do with this little chart here, which is under number one, um, I want to just talk about um, the, the four different lines that you could have. Uh, the first one that you guys could have is like over the x-axis. So in this case, when I'm reflecting over the x-axis, um, I'm finding out, hey, this is the x-axis. This is what I'm rotating over, or reflecting over. This is what I'm reflecting every point over, is x, the x-axis. The other one that I might reflect over is the y-axis, which is the vertical axis. Okay? Now, I can also reflect over two specific lines, like x equals something and y equals and if it's x equals something, that's going to be a vertical line to that specific value. So, for example, like if I wanted to say, hey, x equals 2, 1, 2. Like this is the line of reflection right there. x equals is always a vertical line. Okay? y equals is going to be a horizontal line to that specific value. So, we always want to draw our line of reflection first. So, looking at the example that I have for you guys, I didn't write it down, but we're going to be reflecting it over y equals 2. So, the first thing I'm going to do is draw the line, because that's what it says first. So, I'm going to draw the line of reflection. Number one, draw the line of reflection. So, I'm going to draw the line of reflection where y equals 2. So, this is 1, 2. It's a horizontal line where y equals 2. Okay? Now... I'm going to count the number of blocks a point is away from the given line of reflection. So let's like focus on C. C is one block away, so I'm going to go one block on the opposite side to get my new point to be at C prime. B is one, two, three away from the line of reflection. I'm going to go one, two, three the opposite way. And then A is one point down, so I'm going to go one point down the other. I am calling, putting a prime after them just to reflect that it's the new image. Um, D is right here, so it's reflecting over itself, so it's D prime that's right there. Okay? So what I'm asking you guys to try to do is try the next few problems for me. Raise your hand if you guys got questions that can help you guys out, and then I can check to see if you guys are good with this.